Let's start with uh, this. All right. Whoops. Wrong one. That one. This is the intersectionality score cal calculator. I can see at the top of the screen that you can't really see it saying intersectionality. Believe me, that's what it says. You can find it. If you just Google intersectionality, it jumps up. It's the first one. It's a paid ad, right? And you can see it says your intersectionality score is, let's say, it's, it's, we start with 50. And 50 suggests that you are more privileged. Privilege means you are an oppressor, right? You are oppressing people. You are more privileged than 28% of others. So there are 28% of people out there who are more oppressed than I am if I score 50. I don't score 50, but if I score to 50. Please give more to those less fortunate. There's the altruism for you. Please get, and, and it doesn't matter what you score on this, there are always going to be somebody less fortunate, and the message here is going to still going to be, please give more to those less fortunate. Now, what I find particularly disgusting here is the quotes they use. Martin Luther King, I have a dream that my four little children will one day live in a, in a nation where they will not be judged by the color of their skin, but by the content of their character. One of the great quotes, truly a great quote. But you're judging everybody by the skin right here, right in this calculator. It's exactly what you're doing. Now, they're claiming again that the only way to get to a colorblind society is by having, by putting on, you know, by, by addressing colors, by recognizing colors, by, by discriminating based on color. Now, that's a contradiction, but it is what they believe. They also use the quote of, the best way to stop discrimination on the basis of race is to stop discriminating on the basis of race. Yeah. And Muhammad Ali saying, hating people because of their color is wrong, and it doesn't matter which color does the hating. It's just wrong. Yeah. Those are great quotes, all three of them. I accept all of those quotes. And yet, this is the calculator, right? And, and, and this is serious, right? So if you look here, what is an international inter intersectionality score? I don't know if you can see that on the right side. On the, on the right side, it says, what is an inter intersectionality score? It's an easy and effective way to measure the systematic oppression and discrimination faced by an individual due to their unique identity factors. Having a high intersectionality score means being faced with more challenges to get ahead than someone who has a low score. How can they be used? The score has many practical uses. Primarily, it can be used to help those who are historically marginalized. In an office setting, you can easily identify those who may have unique and most often overlooked or, dis or disregarded perspectives. You can give exclusive opportunities and promotions to people with high intersectionality scores so that they become more respected in positions of power. So we should elevate them, not based on ability, but based on how low their intersectionality score is. This should be guiding for promotions and raises. We also suggest every group meeting to begin with everyone sharing their internet intersectionality scores. I mean, this is truly insane. Oh, I'm so miserable. Like, let me share it with a group. The most powerful use of intersectionality is to identify oppressors. The most powerful use of intersectionality is to identify oppressors and encourage them to share their privilege and money, in parentheses, right, with the victims of their oppression. This would produce a more inclusive outcome and improve overall diversity. Can I use this calculator on others? Yes. Many people say that they, oh, let's, let me raise this so you can read this along with me. Many people say, that they enjoy calculating intersectional scores of others so they can easily identify and help those who are faced with systemic oppression. Once you know which of your friends have higher scores, you might find that you have something to learn from them. Because if they're more oppressed, they have more to teach me, right? Because everything is through the glasses of power, oppression, politics. That's all that matters.
Can I be accused of being oppressive? Even if I have a high score? Yes. Having a high intersectionality score doesn't completely immunize you from being called an oppressor. You may be vulnerable to weakest link attacks. That is, being called an oppressor on any of the intersectionality factors by those disadvantaged in that factor. For example, a gay black man could be accused of being a misogynist by women or a poor immigrant woman could be called transphobic by a trans person. Again, we suggest you publicly show your support for more oppressed groups, regardless of your feelings. Can you believe this stuff? All right. How are the scores calculated? We carefully consider the factors that make up various forms of social pressure and oppression. Then using multivariant analysis, we are able to calculate and contribute the contribution that each factor has on individual relative to demographic size. This is bullshit statistics and bullshit science. But okay, let's do it, guys. All right. Now, usually, I don't answer questions like this, but we're doing the calculator, and we want to know, right? Am I white or am I a person of color? I guess I'm white. Look. Am I straight or gay? Straight as can be. Male or female, I'm male. And I, not just am I male, I actually identify as a male, which means I guess I'm cisgender. I, I didn't ever know there was a term for that. And neither of those are ambiguous. Am I rich or poor? I guess as I score here on the rich side. Am I younger or older? Eh, I think I'm on the older side here. Am I able-bodied, disabled? I'm kind of, mm, I don't have to count my back and you know my knee and you know just all the hurt that I'm going through. I'm going to say, you know, I'm probably not as disabled as somebody is in a wheelchair or something, so I'm, I'm okay, all right? Um, you know, uh, Jennifer, somebody says, I'm Jewish, so I'm not white. There's a Jewish question, so don't worry, they cover that. We'll get to the Jewish part. Am I, so is English my first language? It's not my first, but it's not my second either, so I'm going to stay neutral in this one because I kind of got English... Where was I born? Well, they know I'm in Puerto Rico because I guess they picked it up from my IP address. And I'm not born in Puerto Rico, although, so I'm born elsewhere. I'm not sure what that means because born in Puerto Rico, yeah, anyway, I don't know. Um, whoops. Uh, more educated, less educated. I, you know, I'm pretty much as educated as you can get based on my degrees and stuff. Am I Christian or not a Christian? Well, I'm not a Christian. This is in my favor because being a Christian is definitely oppressive. Uh, am I Muslim or not a Muslim? Eh, this I fail because, you know, if I was a Muslim, I would be oppressed. Jewish or not Jewish? You know, I pretty much go on the non-Jewish spectrum, assuming they mean religion. And by giving devout Jewish over here, I think they mean religion. So I don't know what I should say here. I, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm open to suggestion. But let me go a little bit to, towards non-Jewish, but not all the way because, you know, ethnically I'm Jewish. I don't know what that means. So let's, are you guys in suspense? Because I'm in real suspense about what my intersectionality score is. It's, oh my God. You know, a, a wave of guilt just flooded me because I'm a 17. And basically what that, what that means is I am a massive oppressor, right? 76% of people in, the, in, in, in America so have taken the, who have taken the survey 76% of the people who've taken the survey are more oppressed than I am. And I should give to those less fortunate. So there's the pitch for altruism. And, it, you, know, I, you know, how can you not feel guilty about that? I'm, I, I'm an oppressive guy. Um, and I, I guess I have to start giving, I mean, is anybody out there who is on my show have a higher score than me? I, you know, I, I, maybe I'll have to, I'll have to um, send you some money rather than me asking for the support of the show. I'll have to share some of my money with you. Now, what's interesting is which factors make you more oppressive? Because I was wondering, obviously education is, is, makes you more oppressive. So, for example, if I was less educated, then my score goes up to 20 and now only 70%. Uh, or less. So, you know, education, I, I shouldn't have got that PhD, man. Uh, you know, I'm so, uh. Now, if English was my first language, my score would be even high, lower, 15. That, that's, that's pretty scary. So I'm glad that I studied English 
kind of not quite as my second language, but kind of in between. I mean, I could have been disabled. That would have really, wow, my score went way up to 21. Well, only four points. I mean, the real biggies, let's, let's, uh, let's put the disabled back so that I'm like at 17, 16. 16. Uh, but if I, if, I was, uh, if I was female, what would that do? Whoa, automatic 31. Whoa, automatic 31. So, you know, Jennifer, all everybody else there who females who are on the chat right now, you should feel a lot less guilty than I am, you know, just by the very fact that your female is added, a, you know, wow. And then let's say if I was gay, 20, whoa, also a big one, big one, right? And, uh, oh, transgender, this one would be big, I think. Transgender. No, not as much as gay. All right. Not as much as gay. Interesting. Wow. All right. And, and poor. That one I have, you know, I have control of. I could give away all my money. I can't turn myself into gay. 21. Eh, it didn't raise enough. I'm not giving my money away. I'll, I'll take the guilt and not give my money away. Right? I mean, do you get what this is doing? We now literally have transgender, uh, I mean, uh, intersectionality scores. Now, note some of the, some of the questions here. <laughs> I love this one. This is the best ever, right? How can I improve my score? And they give an honest answer. Unfortunately, you're born with most of your intersectional factors. However, you can make some improvements to your score by getting more involved with Islam or Judaism. So, wow, they recognize the Islam or Judaism are chosen. I wonder if I can choose to be gay or choose to be transgender. Donate, and this is another way, by the way, uh, you, you, can, you can, if you want to, in, you know, increase your score, which I guess is a good thing. They want you to increase your score. You can donate all excess wealth to charity or explore the wild side of your sexuality. So, yes, you can, you can play around with being less straight and cisgender. You can play around with your sexuality and explore the wild side. But only, you can only be wild in sex, according to this, if you also reject your maleness and your, uh, in my case, um, um, straightness. So just being wild with sex with a woman wouldn't raise my, you know, so being wild with sex with a woman wouldn't raise my intersectional squad. After you have to be wild in sex with a man. The easiest way to improve your score, however, da -da -dum, wait, oh, I could wear a dress, Jennifer says. I could. That's right. I would get a higher score if I wore a dress. I guess I'd be less cisgender if I wore a dress. I'm, I'm not wearing a dress. I'm wearing shorts, and I'm barefoot, as I always am doing the show uh, in Puerto Rico. But I, I don't think that raises – I don't think shorts and barefoot, even though uh, – and living in Puerto Rico raise my intersectionality score. They should, but they don't. Um, but they say, and here's the altruism, guys, the easiest way to improve your score, easiest way to improve your score is to champion the intersectionality of your more marginalized friends. So if you're feeling guilty right now, you could go out there and, and be a champion for intersectionality by giving raises and, and, and promoting people who have higher scores than you do. And you can award yourself up to five points depending on the level of your activism. Now, now I understand the social justice warriors. Really, all they're trying to do is to raise their intersectionality score, reduce their guilt by being social justice warriors. They, they did the score and they got a very low score, so they, they're out there being activists because they can get five points. Five old points! I'm so psyched. I know how to do this. Why include religion? Some have commented that religious sliders are anti-Semitic, Islamophobic, atheist-phobic, or possibly even Christianophobic. They included to show that a complete intersectionality score embraces the diversity of religion, th religious thought, if they are of a minority group. Remember, only minorities. You, you, you can't discriminate against the majority. Majority must be discriminated against because that's the only way they can redeem themselves. <laughs> I, this one's good. Let me. What about peanut allergies? Come on, give us a break here. What about our peanut allergies? We know 
that hundreds of other factors such as political affiliation, height, attractiveness, weight, and even peanut allergies can impact your personal intersectionality score. Hopefully, we will be able to address these factors in the future. <laughs> I mean, yeah, height, you know, the, you know, the short transgender black female Muslim poor person with a peanut allergy. That's the group I want to sacrifice to. That's the group that counts. And you know what the sad thing is? Again, the sad thing is here is that there is racism out there. There is irrational discrimination out there. All these things do actually indeed exist. Right? All these things exist. <laughs> now, I don't know if this is a parody site or not. It's, it says the right things. It's presented honestly. I don't know. I have no idea. But that's what makes it so nutty, is how do you tell? When reality, ideology becomes so ridiculous, so insane, so nutty. I mean, somebody's paying to have this advertised, to get traffic to this place. And they have, here's the graph of all, they've run this thing a million times. And this is the distribution, whoops, let me make sure you can see it. Here's the distribution of the scores. And you can see most of us are oppressors, and a few that are being oppressed. And these people, the oppressors, should be sacrificed for the few who are being oppressed. So, you know, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, if somebody figures out, really figures out what this is, let me know. Because I have no idea. Here are all the comments. I tried to look at, you know, home statistics, but it, it, it doesn't really tell us. Here's most oppressed. It, it gives you the, the cross, trans and Muslim, gay, lesbian and Muslim, right? It gives you different statistics of all this stuff. Pretty funny. Pretty depressing. Pretty sad. Intersectionality is called by country. Wow. India is the most intersectional place in the world. It's the most oppression. There we go. And they keep going on. So somebody, somebody's put some thought into this, done it. And whether it's a uh, parody site or not, hard to tell. But he, okay, so let's... Uh what we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brutes. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually uh, supported the show for the first time. So I'll do it again. Maybe we'll get some more today. Um, if you like what you're hearing, if you appreciate what I'm doing, then I appreciate your support. Uh, those of you who don't yet support the show, please take this opportunity. Go to yourownbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com, your own book show, and, um, and, and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to, keep this, uh, to keep this going. I'm not sure when the next...